you can start off with kids' stories of that sort and you can build upon them because all kids love to tell these stories and you'd be surprised at the amount of variation that you get when you're, when you're telling these stories and giving them the stories because each storyteller tells a story his own way. But stories are not just for kids, like I said. One of my favorite storytellers was a fellow called Jim Strickland. Dark hair, a little short guy he is, bushy beard, even bushier than my own. And he tells stories that come from northern Scotland. And he heard them when he was back in Scotland, and he told them to me over here in Canada while I was down in Toronto. Now, what, what he does is he sort of assumes a Scottish character quite uh, different from his own and, uh, and tells these stories that generally come from the tinkers and the gypsies and the traveling people of Scotland and Britain. Now, you may not realize this, but uh, there is quite a number of, of people, or at least there were, that made their livelihood by traveling from one community to the next, working at odd jobs. Perhaps they would be tinkers, or perhaps they would be you know, mending pots. Sometimes they would hire themselves out to uh, plow the fields and, I don't know, uh, pick the potatoes or things like this. And uh, many of them were musical because music is something they could, porter, they could carry around with them from town to town, and people always loved to hear them play. Some of them uh, told fortunes, you know, and some of them sold baskets and hand-woven things that they had made themselves, just little tinkers and beggars that went around from door to door in the, in the small northern communities. And they lived a very strange and primitive life that you may not have realized that uh, people in Scotland did up until very, very recently. In fact, there are still tinkers going around in this very primitive condition. They, they would build bow tents beside the road. I've even seen photographs of them. You know, they, they throw things in the back of a truck and cart it off to a vacant lot or a field, and they put up their little bow tents where were just branches and, and, and twigs covered over with, with blankets and sheets. And the whole families and animals also would live inside this in all manner of weather. Anyways, such was the tinkers. And Jim tells this story concerning one tinker family called the Johnsons. 